Destroy. Dominate. Destroy. Dominate. Destroy. Dominate. You okay, little mamba? Yeah. I'm dark musing. This is the face of a man with a dark muse case. Got this. You know, dark musings alone aren't enough to destroy the competition. Oh. If you truly want to dominate, you're going to have to learn the game at a higher level. Huh. Who are your favorite players? Russell Westbrook and James Harden. Not you. <gasps> the crystal ball of Kansas City. Anything you ever need to know about sports lives in its light. Do you know the spell? Oh, I do, I do. We learned it in Musology 101. <clears throat> crystal, crystal, crystal ball. Show me your secrets. Show me them all. I want to see Russell. I want to see James. Teach me, teach me. Better my game. These historical numbers tell the story of what they do, and that's inspirational in itself. But a muse cage isn't complete without also understanding how they do what they do. Imagine you were responsible for coming up with the game plan to stop James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Let's keep it simple and focus only on the top screen roll action. Your first line of defense is to keep them from getting layups at the rim. So you go to a drop coverage. Russell reads the drop coverage and pulls up for an elbow jumper. James reads the drop coverage and drains a three. You realize the elbow jumper is basically a layup for Westbrook, so you challenge your defense to not give him a clean look. Russell reads the defense and finds Adams on a slip to the rim. You realize that giving Harden a clean look at a three is probably not the best defensive strategy, so you challenge your big to be more aggressive on the ball. James reads the big and goes around him for a layup. Your next option is to play the action extremely soft by having the guard defending Westbrook go under the screen. You pray to the basketball gods he has an off day from three. The gods don't hear you. Your big was too far back in the first strategy and too far up on the second. You decide to split the difference. Harden reads that your big is now stuck in defensive purgatory and wonders if the gods will forgive the big for his sin. Lob to Capella. Westbrook's had you on your heels all game long. You decide it's time for you to be the aggressor by blitzing the action. Russell reads the blitz early and slips the pass to Grant, who finishes at the rim. You decide the best option in defending James is to have the on-ball defender go over the screen and chase him into your big. This protects you from the open three, while your big protects against the drive. This means the corner defender must pull in to pick up the diving big. Well, James reads the help the helper coverage and finds Lou Williams for a corner three. James and Russell can shoot, finish at the rim, and find the open man, which makes reading the defense easy. But here's the question. Are James and Russell simply reading the defense? Or are they doing something more? Reading the game will make you a good player. Understanding what you are reading will make you a great player. But if you can write the game that others read, you become a champion. Use on and dominate. Oh, 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 I want to 
try to dunk in someone's face and yell at them. I want to score, assist, rebound. I want steals. I want blocks. I want a quintuple double! Muse Cage. <laughs>